Today viewers, once again we're doing cafe bike parking and this time we're going slightly west of the city uh, up into Kings Park and looking at a cafe called Kurak which is, well it used to be called Sticky Beaks but it got a makeover in 2022 and reopened as Kurak. Now all I had there was this little Portuguese tart and uh, that was it because I got there late in the day, the coffee machine was being cleaned the, uh, the kitchen was closed and really that's all I had, I just wanted to check it out. But look, as you can see, very secure, convenient bike parking right next to the cafe and this huge playground, which was paid for by lottery money. They sunk uh, at least a million dollars into it and it's a great all ages playground. They've got stuff for babies up to teenagers. So if you've got a, you know, a family with kids of a nice uh, age spread, it's a great place to go. And there's not only bike parking here, you'll walk a little bit around the further and, oh look, more bike parking. Isn't that great? Uh, and not only that, but uh, you know, you can ride through Kings Park to get here on one of the, uh, the paved paths. So that's quite good. Um, or you can ride on the road to get here. And interestingly enough, uh, the lady that served me was a cyclist herself and I was wearing my pink watermelon jersey and she looked at it and went, wow, that's a great jersey. I wear pink when I'm riding quite a lot. And she had a pink jersey and she had pink bike shoes and had just received a pair of pink cleats as a present. Um, I, I didn't ask her if she rode to work, but I did see a bike chained up around and I thought, oh, I wonder if afterwards I thought, I wonder if that's hers. Anyway, uh, on the right, we've got the playground, which uh, is quite extensive, but what I'm riding on here is a kid's training area. So there's a, something like this in Bicentennial Park, but it's nowhere near as big. And, you know, essentially it's a path layout with stop signs and giveaway signs and intersections and stuff that, you know, little kids can ride around and learn the, uh, the rules of the road. So, you know, quite handy, but really, really sizable. You know, you, the one in Bicentennial Park, you know, kids ride around five minutes and they get bored because it's, it's not very large. This thing, uh, you know, the kids get on it and they could go round and round here for, you know, an hour, uh, trying all the different loops and intersections and stuff like that, which is great if you've got kids that, uh, you know, they go to the playground, do some stuff there, then they want to come out and go on the big spider climby thing and then they want to jump on their bike and ride around a bit. You know, it's got all that variety, which is really, really good if you've uh, if you're taking the kids there for a while and they, they want to do all sorts of different things and not just be stuck going up and down a slide or on a swing. You know, it's one of the things I dislike about uh, uh, taking the kids to the Canada Bay playgrounds, for instance, is they seem to be just locked into a particular age group. So if you've got a, had a kid that's five and one that's eight, you know, you might go to a five-year-old playground and the eight-year-old's twiddling their thumbs or you go to an eight-year-old playground and the five-year-old can't play on it because it's all too big for them. Uh, like all stuff in Perth, there's, you know, heaps of car parking, you know, water fountains, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, Kurak, um, I didn't try the food, didn't try the coffee, but it is a really nice place to sit. It's a great place to go as a family. And uh, as usual with these things, absolutely fantastic, secure, convenient bike parking. Like I said, this, this is just the norm across so many places in Perth. And this is really what we should expect across New South Wales as well.